Welcome to the Equinity Podcast, where horse owners just like you share their incredible Equinity stories and how Equinity is changing their horses' lives. Whether you're searching for something to give your performance horse better focus, faster recovery, and more stamina, or in the extreme case where all hope seems lost, give your horse what it needs to help heal at a cellular level, you'll find it here. So jump in on today's episode to hear how Equinity is helping horses worldwide. Now, welcome your host, John Dowdy. Hello and welcome to this week's Equinity Podcast number 134. We're swinging out into... Arizona, we've got Regina Bernstein on the call this week. Regina, welcome to the Team Equinity Podcast. Thank you for having me. So exciting. Yeah, it is exciting. And we're going to be talking about a mystery lameness. And uh, it's if memory serves me correctly, it's been a little bit of a while with our podcast since we've had a mystery lameness. And I know it can be very frustrating when you're dealing with one of these things because there's a lot of money that's spent trying to figure out what's going on. So... Let's uh, let's hear about your uh, story and what was going on. Tell us about your horse, what we what he was doing prior to the lameness, and then kind of what happened, and let's go from there. Sounds good. So I have a 13-year-old quarter horse uh, gelding that I run barrels on since he was four, and um, been competing on him continuously. Back in October, he just started acting like he was really sore, um, having some issues kind of misbehaving under the saddle, which was very unusual characteristics for him. Um, had actually had some farrier work done. Wasn't too thrilled with the farrier work, but, you know, kind of went on. Um, then his behavior kind of deteriorated. He just started trying to kick out at people, which was very odd. Um, then we started having issues where he wouldn't pick up his right hind leg. That's when that really, all this really started and couldn't figure out what was going on. Um, took him to the vet, spent lots of money, got a bunch of tests done. Nothing significant really ever came up in the lameness test or ultrasound or x-rays or anything. Um, just a few small bone spurs in his stifle, which wasn't too bad. Um, gave him some rest, gave him some Prevacox and Butte, um, laid him off for a few weeks, brought him back, seemed a little bit better. Um, got some his feet fixed, um, chiropractic work done, and then still wasn't lifting his hind leg. It was just really odd. Couldn't figure out what was going on. Um, talked to a friend about it, actually. And her friend had the same mystery lameness issue and recommended equinity products. And I thought, well, why not give it a try? Because it's actually pretty affordable to give. Yeah. And I started giving it twice a day. And within a three-day time, which is like I was saying, very odd. <laughs> I noticed quite the difference. And from then, it's been about a month and a half now. And he's he's back to himself. Um, starting, We're actually going to compete in barrels this weekend. And wow. very excited because it actually worked. And he eats it. He loves it. And it's working. So, yeah. so I've been very happy with it. So three days. Now, well, let's back up. So how long was the yeah. uh, was this problem going on for? Oh gosh, this started in October. So up until about I'd say a month ago, month oh. and a half ago, wow, it so was we're going on about five months. Then, yeah, Six it was months. a long time, yeah. and it was getting very frustrating because, like I said, I spent a lot of money, and the horse is worth quite a bit of money. He loves he loves his job, loves to compete. So it was getting frustrating. So I'm I was, I'm thankful to my friend of a friend <laughs> that recommended it to me. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. So, all right. So the frustrations, five, six months, yeah. nobody could figure out what's going on. Spent lots of money. You came across the Equinity. Now, for those of you uh, who are tuning in, maybe you've never heard of the Equinity product, or maybe you've been seeing it around. We, we run into that a lot where people see it um, here and there and everywhere, and maybe they just haven't stopped long enough to really find out exactly what it is so we're specifically talking about the equinity horse xl which is 100 percent pure amino acids there's no fillers uh, starches um i mean it's pure amino acids there's no loading dose either serving size is 5.2 grams which is about like a teaspoon and now uh regina you have a background in animal science as well correct yes i do i actually went to um 
Cal Poly and San Luis Obispo, California and studied animal science there. So uh, right. I knew a little bit about it. I've forgotten quite a bit because it's been a while now, but yeah. I do know the basic. I remember the basics. <laughs> <laughs> yes, which is important. So what was your take like when you saw the, the tub and saw those amino acids? You, well, I guess you kind of mentioned well, before, it's like, well, it, it can't hurt. Yeah, I mean, I figured it can't hurt. And then I loved that there was no fillers or anything in there. Because a lot of the products I look at, they add a lot of fillers and kind of junk in there. And that kind of puts me off from giving it to my horse. So yeah. when I saw that it was just nothing else, I was like, well, this is worth a try because it's not going to hurt anything. Right. Yeah. So that's what I liked. Yeah. And you know, the thing is, is uh, what makes the Acorni Horse Excel so unique is it doesn't fit into a specific supplement category. So in other words, it's not just a hoof supplement or not just a joint supplement or top line or recovery or stamina. What it's actually designed to do is give the body what it needs to release its own hormones from the pituitary gland. And then the body is able to send its own hormones to its own problem areas. So you could have 50 horses lined up with 50 different things going on and it's going to customize to what the horse needs because we're allowing the body to help repair itself. And so, you know, being on the market at uh, eight years at this time, what we found through different parts of the country, and it doesn't matter what the horse is doing for a job, it doesn't matter what the uh, feeding program is, the quality of the feed. If if humans are feeding the horse, they're lacking in the right amount of amino acids. So um, the other great thing about the horse Excel is it absorbs very quickly, and you know it's working in hours. Mm -hmm. And um, just as you mentioned, you know you notice a change in three days, which is pretty phenomenal when you're have gone through all these tests and spent all this money and mm -hmm. you know you're trying to find out what's going on and then three days that <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like I said my mind was blown that's why I had to write write to you guys because I was like this has never happened with anything I've used so. yeah yeah well and I I have to say that uh, results may vary as they say but um yeah. I will say though that although although the we know the product starts working in hours and the majority of people, you know, if you have a horse that has stress, anxiety, or a bit spooky, we've seen complete demeanor changes in as little as two or three days. You know, in this case, you're dealing with a mystery lameness, which has mm -hmm. helped many, many horses through the years, uh, typically in about a week to two weeks for the working performance horse. Um, people notice that they just feel better under saddle, their recovery and stamina is better. Their focus, you get into the 30 day mark um, softer, shinier coat, they're filling out top line hips. And we've even had a lot of people comment on uh, more firmness in the sole depth. Um, but mm -hmm. that's typically going to come more towards a six week mark when, when you get just the overall healthier, stronger, faster growing hoof. Um, and ultimately, and you mentioned chiropractor massage and things like this. And mm -hmm. with your farrier, you know, this is really just helping to get your horse back to where you wanted them to be in the first place, you know? And so, you know, and we, we have a lot right. of people that are using the product as a preventative. You know, they're performance horses that don't really have any issues, but it's going to help with the soft tissue repair, muscle recovery, the overall performance, and things like that. So, did that. Right. And I, I did see a change in his uh, hoof growth, too. It actually got a lot better. And the top line, I'm glad you mentioned that because I forgot. But, yes, his top line is, like, amazing now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we've had people through the years that, uh, and we've converted a lot of skeptics. Um, but yeah, as you mentioned, there's so much stuff on the market out there, you know. And, oh, yeah. It's, it's hard to sift through them all, so. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. But I had uh, an old cowboy up in uh, Virginia, and he uh, was pretty reluctant. And I ran into him, I don't know, maybe I'd given him some product and ran into him like two months later. And I asked him how he was liking the product, and he says, well, you know, I've had this mare. I've been trying to get a top line on for two years. I've tried everything. He goes, I'll tell you this, your stuff worked. And I'm like, mm -hmm. well, that's probably about the best compliment we could get from that cowboy right there. <laughs> right. I know you don't get many. <laughs> no, but you know, it's uh, one of the other things. And for those that are tuning in, and this is one of the uh, most often asked questions that we get, you know, if you're using other supplements and products or medications and things like that, uh, the question typically is, should I stop using other things and start using the, the horse Excel? And, um, you know, I come from the uh, standpoint of, number one, 
you know, I don't know your horse. And so it wouldn't be fair for us to make that judgment call. So what we suggest is don't change anything and just add a scoop of this to it. And then that way we're only changing one element. And the odds of you seeing changes in 30 days or less are very, very high. And then at that point, you know, you can decide whether to reduce or stop using other things. So that's that's worked out very well. Now, one of the other things that you had mentioned before is you were giving two scoops. Um, did you yes. did you start off with the two scoops? or? I did actually start off with the two scoops because in my own brain, I was so frustrated and I thought, I just want I just want this thing to work because I'm so frustrated. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, this... whether or not I actually needed to give the two, but I did uh, start out giving the two. Yes. Yep. So the science behind that, and we this is another question we get because on the label it says one or two scoops, uh, but the science behind that is when you give a, a scoop of the horse XO in the morning, as an example, the hormones are released, and those hormones have a twenty three and a half hour life cycle. So. If you never gave the product again, uh, 24 hours later, the hormones are back to where they would normally be for that age of a horse, which is perfectly fine. That's why you give the product every day. So, um, and that works in the majority of horses. Now, for an injured horse or for the working performance horse, what we're having uh, a lot of feedback with is people that are giving a scoop in the morning and a scoop in the evening. Mm -hmm. Now, this is not a loading dose, but what it's doing is it's stimulating the, uh, the hormones to release. And so now you're, you're keeping them elevated, and that helps promote faster recovery. And so right. it's it's something that, you know, people can test with and see what works best for them. But uh, in most situations, one scoop is, is perfectly fine. But, you know, if you're really working those things and or have an injury, the, the two scoops is, is recommended for sure. Right. That's kind of why I started with the two. Yeah. I thought this has been going on for five months. Let's see if we can knock it yeah, out. So. speed this thing up. But, man, three months. So... Now, uh, and how long did you say a month and a half it's been? About a month and a half, yeah. yeah. Wow, so so back back ready to run and you're going this weekend. Yes, I'm excited. I'm not quite sure how fast he'll be because yeah. <laughs> I took him to a practice the other day and he was a little bit, yeah. well, I mean, he we had off. a while off. So yep. I've been, I'm just happy to go because so, yes. I thought I didn't know what was going to happen five months ago. So. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. Yes. Wow. Well, I tell you what, uh, for anybody that's tuning in and maybe they're listening to this, maybe they're a little bit on the fence, uh, is there anything that you could uh, say to them outside of what you've already talked about that that might get them off the fence to give it a try? Sure. So I, myself, have never been a supplement person. I've always kind of, I see ads on Facebook and I never, I kind of look into them. I think, yeah, this isn't going to work because a lot of them don't work. And I've tried quite a few of them. They really don't do a whole lot. Um, but I will say this is the first product that has actually worked. And I've never written a testimonial or done anything for any human or animal product. And this this product actually got my mind boggled. So it <laughs> does work. It's crazy, but it works. <laughs> and yeah. it's very affordable, I feel like, for what you're getting. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have, well, the... The tub itself is 1.3 pounds, which is about the half the size of a Folgers coffee can, and there's 100 servings right. in there. So uh, for 99.99, which do the quick math, being from Oklahoma, yeah. a dollar yeah. a day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it, that's what I like. Is a lot of the other products um, require a lot of dosage and preloading dosages, and they're very expensive. Whereas this one, you don't have to do any of that. So. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty amazing. We're we're definitely blessed. So, it's uh, it's one of the reasons why we're doing the podcast. You know, we're trying to get a lot of these stories out there, and you know, we really appreciate you uh, taking the time to to write your testimonial into us and take the time to share your story here on the Team McQuinney podcast. Well, I appreciate you contacting me, and I'm happy to share because it's quite an amazing product, and I'm thankful that you guys developed it. You yeah. saved my horse for sure. Oh, so. that's awesome. Well, Regina Bernstein out of Arizona, thank you so much again for uh, taking the time here on the Team Equinity Podcast. Thank you. All right, thank That's you. all for Bye-bye. this episode of the Equinity Podcast. For more information on purchasing Equinity, be sure to visit our website at teamequinity.com, where you'll also find product information as well as more testimonials on how others have seen amazing results by implementing Equinity into their horse's supplement regime. 
We'll have more stories on how Equinity is helping horses worldwide right here on a future episode of the Equinity Podcast. 